Hi, welcome to Jack's Tech World. Uh, today I'm going to be working on my Arch Linux build here. I'm going to start off by changing the desktop. I have Awesome Desktop Windows Manager installed. It came with uh, Black Arch. But what I want to do now is I'm going to customize it. This right here is what you get when uh, it's first installed. You just have your top menu bar here and you have nine different windows you get a clock and that's about it to give you some background of Arch Linux if you are I mean awesome desktop your menu you right click and you just get these and that's it and one thing with the default uh, menu when you want to quit out or log out you'll get an error here that really gets annoying but with the themes that I'm going to be installing it'll repair all that and with awesome what it is it I guess you describe it as a tile desktop it tiles everything for you hmm, does Firefox not want to work there it goes well for some reason Firefox did not want to tile but this is what it's supposed to do so it just tiles out all your windows as you need them and when you m minimize or whatever all the other windows will jump into place to fill the desktop for you that's the basics of uh, awesome they say it's more towards like programmers and stuff that love to have uh, multiple uh, terminals open to get work done so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change over to uh, some different themes here the themes that I'm going to be using are from uh, GitHub. It is called Copycat Killer or Awesome Copycats. I really like their themes. So what we want is we want a terminal open. And we're going to download their themes here. I'm going to make a directory to download them into. Make directory awesome. Let's go into that directory. We're going to go get clone recursive, if I can spell here, github.com copycat killer awesome copycats.get. Now they want us to move them to a folder, but those folders are not made yet. So we have to, mm, let's get back here. And we have to make directories. Uh, we want to make config. Cannot create, oh, well, did I already make that? How about okay? So I may have already created those. Don't remember making them, but it looks like I did. So let's move. Oh, I jumped too far. All right, so we're going to move all the files for what? I guess it helps if you're in the directory. Move BV awesome. Star that for everything, and we're going to move them into config awesome. All right, so we have all the files in place. What we want to do now is we're going to change our Lua. So we're going to change directory to the config folder and awesome then we're going to cp the default over to rc.lua so now if we minimize this out we should be able to immediately start using this firefox go away we're going to restart awesome and this is what we get now it gives you a bunch of uh, meters up here on the default one of your RAM and your 
internet and stuff like that, and then your windows are actually down here. And I just like the look of this one better. Let's show you all the different options they do have. I'll show you their website. This is the one right here that we're using multicolor. And then they have a few other ones. I do like this dark. For the most part, there are, they all look about the same. Some of them, though, it looks like they have uh, icons on the left-hand side and some of the information over on the right-hand side. And this one gives you a little menu, kind of like GNOME. GNOME 3, on the left-hand side. That's how simple themes are, how themes are installed. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'm going to be bringing out more information as I can figure this some more.